Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Tuesday morning music and meditation. I'm Mary, and I will be doing the readings for you, and David will play playing keyboard, and I think he's going to do organ as well. Uh, we're going to have an open prayer this morning. O Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, ascended afar above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Mercifully give us faith to perceive that according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of ages. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Now, because last Thursday was Ascension Day, and Sunday was Ascension Sunday, that will be our theme today, Ascension Day. The first reading is Psalm 24, verses 7 to 10. Lift up you, your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he? this King of glory, the Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. Our first piece that David's going to play is Lift Up Your Heads, Ye Mighty Gates. The Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 11 to 18. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying, and as she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken away my Lord, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, 
Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them what he had said to her. The next piece David's going to play is from the Blue Hymn Book, number 228, O Sons and Daughters, Let Us Sing. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 33 to 53. They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven, and those with them assembled together and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen as appeared to Simon. Then the two were told what had happened on the way and how Jesus recognized them when he broke the bread. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands, my feet. It is myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you, have, I, as you see, I have. When we had said this, he showed them his hands and feet, and while they did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. He then said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the laws of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with the power from on high. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy 
and they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Now David will play hymn number 383, Jesus shall reign where'er the sun. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 14 to 20. Later, Jesus appeared to the eleven as they were eating. He rebuked them for their lack of faith and their stubborn refusal to believe those who had seen him after he had risen. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people and they will be well. After Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven, and he sat at the right hand of God. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them and confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. Now David's going to play for us, Go My Children, with Blessing.
The first book of Timothy, chapter 3, verses 14 to 16. <clears throat> Reasons for Paul's instructions. Although I hope to come to you soon, I am reading, writing these to you, these instructions, so that if I'm delayed, you will know how people ought to conduct themselves in God's household, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of the truth. Beyond all question, the mystery from which all true godliness springs is great. <clears throat> he appears in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among nations, was believed on in the whole world, was taken up in glory. David will play, This is my song, O God of all the nations. David made a quick change there and made it healer of our every ill. Um, our last reading for this morning is Acts chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. <clears throat> Jesus taken up into heaven. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up into heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, 
while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samara, and to the ends of the earth. After this, he said, he was, after he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Now David will be playing. This is my song, O God of all the nations. Our closing prayer is a fairly old Anglican prayer. Almighty and eternal God, you can call us together as the Ascension family and bind us in Christian love and witness. So focus our hearts, minds upon our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ and guide us to know your Holy Spirit in the life of our parish, that we may realize that our similarities are greater than our differences. Help us to recognize your image in all people as we work together as one body in Christ. To the glory of your kingdom, now and forever. Amen.